of tea goodness right here in yeah. Oakland. Cheers. And you know what? Cheers. There are a couple of uh, UC Berkeley grads who are putting the used tea leaves from Numi and from other places to really good use. We're going to meet them right now. Back to the Roots is an urban mushroom farm in West Oakland, California that grows gourmet mushrooms and mushroom kits on entirely recycled coffee grounds. Back to the Roots was actually started during our last semester in college at UC Berkeley. I just came across the idea in a business ethics class that you could potentially grow gourmet mushrooms on entirely recycled coffee grounds. And well, something about that idea just caught my interest individually of Nikhil. We didn't even know each other. So the first time we ever met was at my fraternity at Berkeley. We walked into uh, our kitchen and we said, well, let's somehow turn this into a little mini mushroom farm. We literally went to Ace Hardware, picked up 10 buckets, added coffee grounds to them, added some mushroom seed or, or spawn is what it's called. And uh, after about three weeks, we came back from spring break and we, we had one bucket that had a beautiful crop there. Uh, we were very skeptical when we first saw the mushroom. Back then we're like, you know, is this even edible? And <laughs> I kind of turn to Nick and I'm like, all right, man, let's try this out. And I kind of plucked it for him and yeah. uh, I was like, I'm not trying that. So I literally walked that one paint bucket over to Che Panisse and had her head chef, Cal, um, come try that. And I was like, oh, these are delicious. And we took that same bucket again into Whole Foods and had the, the regional VP of produce call us back. And he's like, I love it. I think at that point we had mushrooms that tasted good. We had some demand from Whole Foods and kind of looked at each other and said, you know what, forget investing in bacon, forget consulting. Full-time mushroom farming it is. Back to the Roots has since partnered with Pete's Coffee and Tea, picking up around 20,000 pounds of their used coffee grounds each and every week. The process for making these mushroom kits is actually pretty simple. Step one is collecting the coffee grounds every morning. Step two is drying the coffee grounds using our automatic wine press we have now. Step three is bagging the coffee grounds into the bags that go into the kits. Step four is inoculation, which is mixing the mushroom spawn or seed into the coffee grounds. Step five is incubation, where those bags then sit for about three weeks and the mushroom roots take over all the coffee grounds. And then step six is packing that all into our kit boxes that you then get at home. So at, at this stage in our company, we've really realized and, and honed in on, on being able to grow mushrooms on entirely recycled coffee waste. And one of the coolest partnerships is now with Numi Tea, in which we're now taking spent tea leaves and using that and mixing that into our, our substrate to be able to grow more mushrooms. At the end of the day, we want to provide these really fun, unique, sustainable products for our customers. They're the ones that we want to impact the most, and, and they're the ones that are going to continue to make us grow. Those are some clever Cal grads. I never would have imagined you can make mushrooms from coffee grounds and tea leaves. That's how you see Berkeley education for you. That's right. Go Bears. Yeah, I'm go a Cal Bears. Grad. Yes, aren't we both? We are? No, you are. <laughs>